go. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us today to learn why September 11th should never be considered a federal holiday. I want you to close your eyes and imagine your favorite holiday. I'm sure you envision a firework extravaganza that light up the sky if you think about our nation's holiday. If you visualize Christmas, I'm sure you imagine family gatherings filled with laughter as you open beautifully wrapped presents. Thanksgiving Day brings the sights and smells of your favorite feast and taste tempting delights as you and your loved ones gather together for a turkey dinner in all its trimmings. Memorial Day and Labor Day create memories of backyard barbecues, beach volleyball and hikes to mountain peaks with splendid sights. I'm sure all of those holiday memories are ones that you want to share with your friends and family as you take memory book photos and videotape the events for lasting memories. Now, clear your mind and envision a new and different holiday. This holiday is based on the sudden and newly created skyline of New York City. Remember that this newly created holiday was courtesy to the masterminds of September 11th where airplanes filled with innocent men, women, and children flew into the New York Twin Towers at the World Trade Center, the Pentagon Building in Washington, D.C., and now hollowed ground of Shanksville, Pennsylvania, exploding with brilliance of light and deafening sound that man had never before witnessed. This holiday was and would be based on skyscrapers falling, buildings igniting into fireballs of smoke, while the innocent victims within these planes and buildings perished. Should there be a holiday based on the tragic and ultimate, ultimate or untimely deaths of nearly 3,000 innocent men, women, and children, should 9-11, as it has now become known, be declared a federal holiday? As someone with a family member who emerged from the smoke and debris forever plagued with the nightmarish battle scars of 9-11 and the aftermath, I say no. I'm going to provide you with details as to why 9-11 should never be considered a federal holiday. While many of us may believe that we have national holidays, we, in fact, do not. We do, however, have federal holidays. So what defines a federal holiday? A federal holiday is a day recognized by the United States government, whereby government offices are closed and federal employees are paid. Our federal holidays include New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, President's Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Columbus Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving Day, and Christmas Day. While individual states can also determine which holidays they recognize, individual companies or businesses have the ability to determine which holiday they will be closed for and or pay their employees. According to History.com, a leading source of historical information provided to the public, 9-11 is a day that will not be forgotten. On September 11th, 19 militants associated with the Islamic extremist group Al-Qaeda hijacked four airplanes and carried out suicide attacks against targets in the United States. Two of the planes were flown into the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in New York City. A third plane hit the Pentagon just outside Washington, D.C., and the fourth plane crashed in a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Today, there's an ongoing debate with those who protest and proclaim that 9-11 should be recognized as a federal holiday. These protesters assert that, in the years following the 9-11 attack, Congress has taken care to mark the day with moments of silence and resolutions. But those proclamations, while important, rarely gain the awareness of everyday Americans. While people on the West Coast, Midwest, or even East Coast might not be as inclined to watch Nina, the 9-11 Day of Remembrance in its in entirety, uh, it, is, it is a day that should be remembered. I claim that common sense and reasoning would say, how can we dilute the very meaning of 9-11 by proclaiming it a federal holiday? 
Most of the previously mentioned holidays include mouth-watering and taste-tempting barbecues, decadent food preparation and particip participation, festive and colorful holiday decorations, family gatherings and picnics, and bargain sales in the retail, retail industry. However, we cannot and should not degrade September 11th with the same lighthearted merriment that we celebrate Christmas Day, Thanksgiving Day, and Independence Day with. While September 11th should be a day of remembrance for those people who gave their lives, we can and should gather with our friends and family in solemn and reflective commemoration without the trapping of material celebration. Because 9-11 is not a federal holiday, businesses remain open and many people do not have a day off. However, does it make that day any less important? Currently, 9-11 is recognized as Patriot's Day and a national holiday of service and remembrance. On this solemn day, we observe a moment of silence and reflection for the lives lost and the resounding courage we gained as we crawled back to life in the aftermath of terror and horror on the, day on the days following the September 11th attacks on American soil. Even Donald Wolfensburg, a former House Rules Committee staffer said, making the day a federal holiday could detract from remembrance ceremonies as federal, at federal workplaces like the Pentagon. At, a very important fact to consider was made by Keith Wagstaff in his article entitled, why isn't 9-11 a federal holiday? He wrote, Just because 9-11 is not a federal holiday now, however, does not mean it never will be. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday wasn't made a not holiday until 1984. Memorial Day, initially created to honor fallen Union soldiers, wasn't declared a federal holiday until 1967. And Thanksgiving? That was officially made a federal holiday by President Abraham Lincoln, more than two centuries after the pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock. In conclusion, I am not a pessimist. I am not an alarmist. I am, however, someone who sat down and listened to a grown man get choked up as he described watching an airplane fly into the World Trade Center at an alarming rate of speed. He spoke in detail, describing the sound and smell as the airplane made it a direct hit at the 65th floor of the Twin Towers. Sitting in the, in the second tower, he had the perfect vantage point to watch the horror and mayhem explode before his eyes. As my cousin described the screams from co-workers and friends, he began to tell everyone in his office to leave the building. After listening to his story, I knew that I can never celebrate 9-11 as any type of holiday. As Americans, we rose up from the twisted steel of the Pentagon and World Trade Center debris and ashes to be stronger and with more resolve to fight the war on terror. We need to be united on this front. 9-11 should not be a day to find the best bargains on TVs and small appliances at your favorite retail location. 9-11 should not be a day of, to feast on the best barbecue burgers and steaks or other taste tem tempting delights. 9-11 should not be a day to frolic at the beach or at the park with frisbees as the reason for the day off uh, has long been forgotten. 9-11 is, however, a day of remem to remember the lives lost and the sacrifices made to ensure that we maintain the freedom we do enjoy in the United States of America. September 11th should continue to be recognized as a day of remembrance and not as a federal holiday.